I will say his, his lawyers did a, certainly a better job of distracting the jury from the real issues. The Depp versus Hurt trial has become public knowledge, and yet new details keep coming out about it. Viewers with eagle eyes have noticed yet another mishap on Team Hurt's side. David Shane, Amber Hurt's PR manager, who sat in the gallery behind the actress throughout the trial, was seemingly paid a visit by an officer of the court while the trial went on. A lot of speculation has emerged on why this happened. So what could be the reason behind the court officer's visit? Was there some secret deal of sorts? Keep watching to find out. A tweet says Amber Heard's new publicist is seated next to court TV reporter Chanley Painter and is being visited by a courtroom officer. On that tweet, several fans reacted differently. One says he will try to persuade anyone to side with Amber or simply to obtain information. Another stated that it's clear that AH's team has reached some sort of agreement with court TV and law and crime to present biased commentary via omission of testimony. One more fan stated that, I noticed this, consider it Amber Heard's last desperate attempt to use public relations. It's to be expected, and it won't save her image in the end. On that, a fan replied, why bother talking to him again? I hope he gets banned. He's been getting up, leaving, and then returning. You can't do that in court, so you leave and won't be back that day. Why is he being given special permission to enter? He is not a member of her legal team, nor is he security. So what happened in the courtroom? Here it is. In a shocking turn of events, Amber Heard's new PR guru, whom she hired in April while preparing to face Johnny Depp in a Virginia court, has been revealed to be an alleged sex abuser. According to reports, Heard's spin doctor is David Shane. The 36-year-old actress persuaded him to portray her ex-husband Depp as an alcoholic who cheated on her during their marriage. According to sources, Shane's reputation isn't exactly spotless. According to the news outlet, he is well known in PR circles and is dubbed Hurricane Shane. A number of the 49-year-old's ex-colleagues have claimed anonymously that HR departments at Hewlett Packard and Juniper launched investigations into him after he was accused of sexual harassment. He eventually left HP and Juniper where he was Vice President of Communications in 2010 and 2012 respectively. According to the report, Shane allegedly assaulted a former model named Holly Docker after meeting her on the dating app Raya. However, Dave Shane's attorney contacted MEAWW and denied all allegations. David Shane adamantly denies Holly Docker's allegation, the statement said, which dramatically contradicts Miss Docker's original account that she posted over three years ago. Hewlett Packard was investigating him. There were certainly many issues. For example, the women around him were visibly uncomfortable. I don't think he was a good guy for women to be around, an insider said. Another former Juniper employee called a 2011 conference event in Hong Kong at which former Vice President Al Gore was present. He thought it was too male-dominated, so he mixed in some females, a source told the Daily Mail. It was completely inappropriate. He thought there needed to be women there to create a festive mood with all the guys in the room, the source added. It was done to give it a more club-like feel. They were dressed elegantly but provocatively. There were a few Australians and a couple of British. They were working the room. Shane, according to the ex-employee, was just one of those people who I think didn't understand that consequences or rules apply to him sometimes. As a result, he did many questionable things that made people uncomfortable. It was inappropriate behavior towards young members of the communications function. Comms teams are typically made up of younger women. He could cozy up to and try to separate from the pack a very young, vulnerable member of the external PR team, the second Juniper Insider revealed. He'd approach it by complimenting the young hot chick on the account, then saying, hey, can you do this special project for me? Then there are the side meetings or phone calls such as, hey, I need something urgent, can I call you? Then he'd devolve into behavior, pushing himself on the kids. These were young women just starting their careers and had no idea how to handle it. It was typical textbook grooming, harassment, and preying on young people who may not know better or are afraid to speak up, they added. And it's not just the allegations that are following him. According to reports, Shane allegedly assaulted a former model named Holly Docker after meeting her on the dating app Raya. The couple went on two dates and the alleged abuse occurred shortly after the second date. 
He started getting aggressive, like, come to my bedroom, let's have sex, the 32-year-old woman explained. No, I say, because I was so uncomfortable. I even lied to him and told him I wasn't my period. I took you on these amazing dates to these great restaurants, he explained. At that point, he became extremely aggressive and pushed my head down towards his crotch, Doc continued. I stood up and told him no. He became enraged and said, I'll call you an effing Uber. Aside from these allegations, Shane was arrested for DUI twice, once in February 2010 and again in September 2012. Following his first arrest, he claimed innocence, then took a plea deal and was sentenced to three years probation and two days in county jail, according to San Mateo County Superior Court records, DailyMail.com reported. Shane's attorney, Rebecca Kaufman, however, has denied all of these allegations, saying, it's easy to get distracted by anonymous fake accusations, but the focus should be on the merits of the defamation case pending in Fairfax County, Virginia, and the relevant facts presented at the trial. Why do you think the court officer paid David Shane a visit? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe to keep up with our latest uploads. See you in the next video.